In this video, I'm doing a review on the book Backchecker Strategy, Backgammon Odyssey by Michihito Kagayama or Michi and Roland Herrera. This is the third book in the series Backgammon Odyssey. The first one is opening concepts, talks about the opening of the game. The second one is end game technique, talks about the end of the game. And this one is called Backchecker Strategy, and it's about the early and the middle game. It talks about all the different things, uh, what what kinds of things you, you want to do and what kinds of concepts you want to think about when you're trying to escape your back checkers. Uh, now, I really like the cover art of this one. Really beautiful. A picture of Michi uh, on the front cover, uh, on the back backgammon board. Beautiful artwork in the back. The back cover looks like his desk. Some things in the background. His cat. This one uh, was published in 2021. It's in English and it's 221 pages. Uh, it continues with the theme of proverbs, so ideas that you want to keep in mind uh, what to do. And it also includes the uh, the cartoons of No No by Roland Herrera. Uh, that makes it very interesting, very easy to read, uh, nice, not a lot of text on the pages, uh, large font, makes things easy to see. Uh, lots of diagrams, lots of positions, it, and, and it has quizzes. It talks about, it asks you, what, do, what would you do in this one? And then he goes through all the different options, and then he talks about the correct answer and why this is correct and why it's not correct. Uh, so he uh, has five stages of the uh, early game uh, called the initial stage, advanced stage, completed stage, solo stage and butterfly stage basically has to do with where the back checkers are located so there are uh, many different parts so the first part starts with anchors and strategy uh, categorizing anchors whether they're high anchors like on the five or the four point or even the bar point uh, and low anchors like the 22 23 and 24 points uh, the 22 point anchor he calls the butterfly anchor because it can metamorphose from a pupa to a butterfly and in the early game it's good to keep that but later in the game you want to leave that anchor and later on in the book it talks about what kinds of things you want to look for when deciding when to leave your anchor um, so that's very important uh, it talks about advanced anchors are very important there it dominates in the initial stage how to handle the back checkers. So you can split the back checkers with a major split and a minor split. And he'll talk about what each of those are. The major split goes farther forward. The minor split does not, usually with a one or two. Splitting on the opening roll, um, splitting versus priming, avoiding splitting versus a blitzing structure, which he talks also about in opening concepts. And split versus eight checkers. Uh, again, some very important concepts that are also included in opening concepts. And then the next section um, is uh, impact on your home board. So you need to look at your home board to decide how strong your board is versus your opponent's uh, home board to decide on what kinds of things to do with your back checkers. Uh, and then the next part is the advanced stage, talking about characteristics, what happens if things look ugly, uh, making surpasses, hitting, glued back checkers. That's an important concept when you're, both of your back checkers are on the 24 point, that's called glued back checkers. Uh, talks about when you have one back checker remaining, the best place for it to be is on the 22 point because it, it can escape to safety to the midpoint with many different numbers or even beyond with like a 6-3 or a 5-4, but also uh, double, double fours and double sixes and 6-5. Six um, so a lot of numbers work from that. The 23 point is the worst because you cannot be played, you cannot play a six with that. Um, there's the, uh, the proverb of F13, fighting with 13 checkers, deploy 13 checkers, um, and then the completed stage. When you've escaped both of your back checkers, you wanna be more safe. The solo stage is when you have one single back checker and what you want to do, uh, how you play a one, how you play a two, whether you wanna escape, whether you wanna stay, whether you want to attack and what to do when you're behind a full prime. 
And then the next section is about uh, called the butterfly stage. That's when you have the 22 point anchor or the three point anchor. It's kind of an intermediate between a high anchor and a low anchor. It's kind of a medium anchor. Um, so that's why he calls it a butterfly because it can go from the pupa and then it goes to a butterfly. Uh, it can metamorphose into the butterfly. So talks about when to secure the anchor and when to leave the anchor. Um, talks about safe landing spots and uh, how to hold the hold the anchor until your front position is ready. And then um, he compares all the five stages. At the end, um, he has some exercises and some new terms. Let me see if I can find the new terms here. Uh, tail, uh, single checker on the opponent's low point following an advanced anchor. Uh, its purpose is to patrol a large area to hit a shot. That's uh, like a goalkeeper. Sometimes people talk about that. Glued back checkers I mentioned. F-13 I mentioned. Butterfly anchor I mentioned. Double falcon is another uh, new term he comes up with, which is when you have an anchor like the 20-point anchor, uh, escaping with both, with something like a 6-5, bringing both out into the outfield. That's called a double falcon play. So now people talk about double falcon all the time, very similar to double tiger. Um, he likes to talk about mountains and animals and all sorts of different things. It makes it easy to remember and easy to understand. So this is the third book in the trilogy. At least it's a trilogy thus far uh, in the Backgammon Odyssey. Uh, it's another outstanding book. I definitely recommend it. I've read it multiple times. I've learned a lot, and I, I certainly use concepts I learned from it in just about every game. Um, so it'll definitely help your game, uh, good for beginners to intermediates. Uh, and this one, uh, we'll see some of the reviews here. Really good reviews, as always. For the backgammon enthusiast, easy to understand, a must-read backgammon book. Another nice book, my favorite Michi book so far. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely recommend this book. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.